Stand by for action. Thanks, Joan. My name is Dave Miller. I am the Unpleasant Blind Guy, and I want to welcome you to part two of this episode of the Unpleasant Blind Guy on EDL Radio. Now remember, if you want to contact me with comments, questions, show suggestions, awesome American suggestions, I'm available at UBG Contact on Twitter, on social media at, or I can also be found as Dave Milner or Agador, that's A-G-G-E-D-O-R, on Mublet, the Tea Party Community, Spreely, Mines, MeWe, or Gab. Now let's begin. And welcome back to the English Defense League Radio Show with your host, Jeff Mitchell. Sorry, Jeff, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave, um, for the, uh, the... It's always great to listen to him, because uh, it, a lot of people listen, and they pick up on where they can go to different yeah. times of the week. It's really good, isn't it, Dave? Well, BZ had a great but, um, show yeah, yes, uh, um, on, on Thursday, Jeff. Uh, in, in Thursday evening, um, BZ had a great, um, a great D-Day show. I mean, if you guys think that we did really? okay here, he did a fantastic show. Great, uh, you know, great clips. And he had uh, Kaiser Chef on with him, helping him out with it. Uh, you know, um, go back and give that a, uh, a listen, guys, uh, at shrmedia.com. BZ's Berserk Bobcat Saloon for last Thursday. And now, Jeff, you want to intro part two of this, um, of this Based Amy show, right? Yeah, exactly. Right, let me start. A lady on a mission. <laughs> In the crowd. Very angry. Because... A balloon is flying, which is insulting the President of the United States. And out of the crowd come a lady called Amy. She stepped forward. As she stepped forward, she moved towards the balloon. And people stand around just looking. And this Amy leaned forward and popped the balloon with a little pair of clippers. There was that. Uh, but they couldn't quite bring the back bar out because they were too shocked because of the pop. And this lady was called Amy, a legend amongst all pages now. Dave, sorry, I, I could have done that, <laughs> but I didn't. Miss. That was good, Jeff. I liked that. I enjoyed that, man. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> now. Uh, Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to go with it now. Um, I didn't tell you guys this before, and I apologize for that, but these these segments here are just under 10 minutes long. Each one is. Um, this one is just under 10 minutes long, and part three will be just about nine and a half minutes long. So, guys, this is going to be part two of this. And, uh, yes, here you go, this lady who has now become legend. Based Amy... And you're listening to the English Defense League radio show. And if you're listening under the Unpleasant Blind Guy flag, you're also listening on SHR Media. Yeah, you are. Here we go. And and forget the mayor. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> Who? You know, the dwarf. I'm sorry, but, I mean, I could probably, we probably meet at eye level. So I'm a dwarf. Not so bad for a woman, I can say, you know. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off track. <laughs> When he, the mayor, <laughs> sent out this message of hatred, derision, not representing anybody but himself and all those haters, you know, where, where are people representing us? Where, where are the people representing the patriots? We love Donald Trump because he's a man, he's a man, he's a, he gets things done, he has kept every single promise and then some. And then, and it's only been two and a half years. Two and a half years. What he's achieved is is mind blowing. And the fact that the lying, fake stream, lame stream media just spew out lies and bias and propaganda. Again, that's why I'm so angry with the media because they just twist. They they couldn't tell the truth 
you know, I mean, if, if it just slapped them in the face, you know, whatever, if they just, if it swarmed them, they still would deny the truth. And I'm just over the media. So I know people give me, you know, they criticize me for, the, for, for how I deal with people, with how I deal with the police. When you see the abuse of power, when you experience the abuse, when you experience the violence from the police, when you experience the outrageous behavior, and then you witness the other behavior of the police who let people off, who have no business being let off, you might lose a, you know, a little bit of respect for them. Anybody, unless you walk in my shoes, right? Unless you walk in my shoes, what you say anything, criticize me to your heart's content. And you know what? I don't care. Because you don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. All you haters out there with my depression when I was suicidal because I was in racked with pain years ago, years ago, try having four major back operations, three hip replacements, being crippled, having been a golf professional, having a fabulous life, and then having it taken away. Slowly, 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 slowly. I was so I was a productive, fully, fully productive, fit person, had a great lifestyle, loved it. And then, through no fault of my own, it was taken away from me, okay? So, again, all of you people who, who mock me for tell pretend suicides, you don't know the facts, right? You just make yourselves, when you, when you find the truth, when you find out what really happened to me, instead of listen, reading the fake stream media, lying media, you know, I hope you feel, I, I do hope you'll, you'll actually admit that you are actually a complete bunch of you-know-whats, because... Shame on a lot of you. Shame on you sick people purporting to be lovers, not haters, who deride, you know. It's, it's I don't know. It's very strange. It's strange. It's strange. I, I probably will never understand it because that's not the way I roll. I don't mock depression. I don't mock, you know. Uh, no, it doesn't happen. But go for it, you know, because I know what happened to me. I know what I went through the years. I also was sent to prison for it. You know, nobody talks about the prison. Yeah, they sent me to prison after I was pulled out of the sea by a helicopter with an infrared camera. No, you don't think about that, do you? you just believe the rubbish. Thing. Anyway, I didn't mean to go down there. Look, I'm just saying, I do what I do. I have reasons. I have passion. I have love. I went from not caring, not not being able to live my life anymore. I couldn't take life anymore. The pain was too much. I couldn't, you know, when I was going, when I was dying, I thought of my nephews. So that's a weird thing. You don't know what you're going to think of when that time comes. So I thought of my nephews. And even the thought of my nephews, who I adored, what couldn't stop me. I couldn't live through the pain anymore. So, I've gone from... I mean, you don't know how close to death I was, okay? I was pulled from the sea, hypothermic, by helicopter. You don't know the truth. You just go by the truth, the lies. I went from not even getting to... I couldn't, I couldn't even care enough about my nephews to make it worth my living, my life, to 12 years later, caring about unborn children, caring about kids, caring about strangers. I don't have any children. I wasn't blessed with children. But I'm doing what I'm doing, challenging the law, challenging the police, challenging the authority, because our freedoms have been, have been removed because of the European Union, because of the bureaucracy, the dictatorship that is the European Union. We don't have sovereignty of any kind. Everything that we have to do is, everything that our parliament does, the majority of it is through the European Union, through dictators. So Brexit, right? Sovereignty, democracy, that's what people gave their lives for. Tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Sorry, I'm a bit emotional. Sorry. It's been a long day. It's been emotional. And I apologize. I don't usually get emotional, but, you know, there's a lot going on. And the President of the United States is... 
sorry. I really, oh, okay, I'm going to have to end this because I'm too emotional right now. I'm in pain. I wouldn't even let them treat my fingers. I didn't trust the police because of the way I've been treated by the police. Because of this being convicted for telling somebody to have a gay day. Okay? Have a gay day. I told a man in a car park to have a gay day. Some people out there know what happened to me with the arrest, with my, my place. It's on, on, it's on a film. I was taken down. You know, I, I, it's weird what I've been to, but you know, it's, it's worth it, okay? If, if I can get a message out there, we're trying. There's some, a few people are sacrificing a lot for the many. And it's, you know, it's not easy. But I want to do it. It's, it's, I couldn't, <laughs> that the saying that, uh, you know, the next generations, we're here to pass on this planet to the next generations. And it's a mess. But Donald Trump is sorting it out. Him and a few, you know, Orban and Salvini and Gert Builders, Marine Le Pen. <laughs> you know, all these people being vilified by the media because of the globalist media. Anyway, sorry, I'm so sorry. I have a, a passion for good people, for the innocent. And I, you know, I've got, I have not gained anything from what I'm doing, you know? What I've gone through, been knocked out by a stranger in Soho. You know, could have been killed. Standing up to the police, because they're just, the abuse of power is just shocking. For, for people on, conservative people, people who believe in law and order, democracy, sovereignty, all the things that people have sacrificed their lives for over the centuries. And in the space of 50 years, 40 years, the people who, who've been in charge have just given it away, just given it away, hand over fist for the for selfish reasons, for this weird mentality. And you know, President Trump, I know, he came into power, well, he didn't have to, because he couldn't stand it anymore. He's seen it happen, he's seen it developing, and so, so. Also, I was inspired, I've been inspired by him and other people who see the big picture, and I see the big picture. So, you know, I'm Amy, and I will continue doing what I'm doing. I'm on bail now, okay, for the... For, for, for getting a balloon. I'm now on bail. I spent a few hours in a not very nice jail cell. And um, I'm on bail pending investigation. And they took my my MAGA hat. Oh. My MAGA hat is under arrest. Took my phone. They got my phone, my MAGA, my MAGA hat with all my badges. They won't, they won't, they've got it. That MAGA hat better come back in one piece. I was saving it for hoping President Trump would sign it one day, if I ever made it to a rally, but it's not. Anyway, look, here's what it is. I'm here. All right, folks, here you go. And uh, Jeff, your comments, my brother. <laughs> my apologies. I, I muted uh, myself. For, no worries, uh, man. Because uh, the birds were a little bit busy. But, you know, I, I don't think uh, our listeners, now they know, with Amy, uh, apart the story that she's had to endure, she is a, she is an invalid lady. She's got serious issues, and she, she does go through the pain barrier. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, her spirit, her spirit is, is so powerful. Um, she's a, she is an inspiration to, to people. I mean, Amy's been doing... You know, Amy's thing for for quite a while, oh, and yeah. um, because she is just what she needs to do is her, it's her mission, it's her calling, and um, you know, uh, and, and you you could hear in a voice that she do it all over again. You know, she's that uh, she's a patriot, and the you know being a patriot and and uh, you've got to go through certain obstacles. Uh, and certain things you have to endure, which we know it's the the police are not uh, too uh, sensitive 
Leicester with Patriots, as we all know. Oh, yeah. Um, that, um, you know, we are, in their eyes, they look at us, and there was a, um, you know, uh, uh, actually Tracy Blackwell had a whole thing uh, of what the police think about us. It was uh, it was out there, and uh, it was, um, and let me see, it was a Latin name, but really they think of uh, Patriots and uh, uh, like-minded people like ourselves as, as I said before, Dave, cockroaches. So you see... The, uh, the way that they treat us totally different than, say, the left side of things. Uh, that uh, We've known this for... I've known this for many years. I've seen it. I've seen the way that the, uh, the, the police are uh, towards, you know, just uh, people who's expressing themselves and on, a, on demonstrations being attacked, um, you know, and that we, we, see, we spoke... How many times we, we've had these conversations about uh, a certain yeah. demonstration that uh, it was just OTT, it was just, you know, unbelievable uh, that uh, the police yeah. stood there with the backs against people that was throwing things oh, yeah. at one of our demonstrations with, the, with their backs raised ready to smash down on anybody's head that made any sort of responses towards, uh, you know, responding on what was happening, what was being... Right. Basically, basically it's protecting them. Totally. Yeah, basically protecting the exactly, the people attacking the, the EDL. It's just yeah, the false that they they was threatening you with false and intimidation. You've got to stand there and take it. Otherwise, we we will come down hard. You respond, we will come down and we will bash your heads in. And and that's what we saw. We saw that at Warsaw, didn't we, Dave? I mm. think there was about eighteen eighteen of our lads that uh, had serious serious. Head wounds. So yes, we've experienced, but that does not stop what we do. They, they, they can, you know, yeah. a lot of people end up with bruises and cuts, and they say, "Okay, yeah, oh, it's a bit. When's the next demo?" <laughs> that is the. Uh, <laughs> this is the patriot yeah. for you. That's guys. right, Jeff. It is, and, man. And, and Amy, so, yeah, yes, Dave. Yeah, yeah. And Amy uh, is one of those and I'm, types. I'm always in yeah. all of these uh, great people. And I, you know, yeah. the demonstration, I've said on, on, on many shows, Dave, when I look at these people, and I, it, it chokes me because mm. they look, I'm on a mission. They, they're on mission. You know, this is what they've got to do. They're doing it for the kids. And they it's are. it's quite yeah. moving when you see the people around you, the strength around you. Um I've often told you about yeah. it, Dave, personally, haven't I, you know? Well, that's the motivation, but, Jeff. You know, it's the motivation. Happens. It's for the kids and, and, and for the future. Yeah. You know, this, uh, you know, it, it brings it brings to, uh, you know, it brings the lie to the whole, well, these are just a bunch of knuckle draggers and, and uh, football or, you know, for Americans, uh, you know, soccer hooligans out there wanting to cause trouble. And, you know, Jeff, that makes me think that, you know, in some future show, especially now since we're um, associated with it, with SHR Media, we ought to maybe do another one where you and I go through the um, the EDL mission statement and talk about it in depth just so that, uh, you know, the expanded American audience that we're hoping to get will uh, will understand a bit more. You can, al- you can always read the mission statement if you go to the uh, English Defense League website at uh, HTTP, um, you know, uh, www.englishdefenseleague.org.uk. But we may do that in a future show, Jeff. Before... I don't think, Dave, you got it bang on. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Dave, I didn't mean to cut no, you there. No. Uh, in... but... I think you're bang on, um, because uh, as I've often said, that mission statement, when I uh-huh. really pledged myself to doing what I've been doing, it was because of the mission statement. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I've read uh, another mission statement that said everything that I believed in. Yeah. Every single thing, every word was the way that I thought about things. And mm-hmm. I knew straight away that this yeah. is what I sign up for. And That's right, yeah. I'm, And I'm on a long-term mission. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not moving. I'm not going to jump ship to anybody anywhere else. This is where I belong, and I'll be here uh, as long as, uh, you know, as long as I'm on this earth, you know. Um, sure. That yeah, is it. It's, uh, yeah. 
it's something I've signed up for life, but I'm not just, uh, oh, I've fed up now, I'm going to go to another group of people. Well, that's not me, that's not Dave. We, we're we mm. in this together, myself and Dave and our team and Jan. Uh, we, we will go right through to the end of this until right. we succeed, until we see uh, some common sense once again in our mm-hmm. countries and our nations. That's right, Jeff, we will. Sorry, Dave, just and, made a little statement there, but I just had to Well, you know, it's, it's worth making, Jeff, and, and I, before we hit... Uh, part three of this uh, of this show of Amy's here. I just want to uh, let you know, give people a little glimpse into what people are going to be hearing pretty soon on the American side of this, over at um, over at SHR Media. Um, you know, a little glimpse into what they're going to be hearing as to uh, as to the promo uh, for uh, the uh, the EDL. Um, you know, under my flag, uh, under the unpleasant blind guy. I'm going to play this little promo here, Jeff, if you don't mind, and then we'll get to part three, the final, you, the final part of this. Okay, so here we go, guys. Right now you're listening to the English Defense League radio show, and this is a promo that you guys will be hearing pretty soon uh, over in the United States. Here we go. This will be about 30 seconds. After six years covering terror and corruption, the unpleasant blind guy is making a change. I'm Dave Milner. Join me on Spreaker and YouTube through SHR Media and on the Western Free Radio Network as I team up with Jeff Mitchell, host of the English Defense League radio show on blogtalkradio.com. Check show pages for airtimes. It's the Unpleasant Blind Guy. On EDL Radio, there's no surrender ever. Because truth is not always pleasant. (laughs) <laughs> and there you go. Dave, I'm blushing. <laughs> I'm blushing, brother. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, so that's what... That's awesome. Yeah, that's what, um, you know, people will be hearing over in the States. Uh, you know, and, and again, guys, you'll be able to hear that show. Um, you'll be able to hear these, these EDL radio shows in, in little manageable bites um, each day, uh, you know, uh, six days a week. Uh, you know, you get Monday through Friday... At 1 p.m. Eastern in the States, and that's at 6 p.m. British Summertime. And on Saturdays at midnight Eastern in the States, and that's 5 a.m. British Summertime. So, um, you, you know, you, you get, you, with EDL Radio, you're going to get it both ways. <laughs> You'll get it either on Blog Talk Radio and this well, long well, form. I think that's, <laughs> as, as long as we get our message to our great patriots out there. That's what it's about, that. bro. That's what and, it's about. Um, that's all we do. It's the truth. And uh, what we talk about on the mm-hmm. radio shows um, is what myself and Dave uh, and Jan uh, <laughs> and anybody associated with what we do and all the awesome patriots out there. This is what we're here for. This is what uh-huh. we do. And we will continue to strive and do everything we, we can possibly to achieve, uh, you know, things that politicians have failed us on. We will continue to fight. Are, we will never, yeah. ever surrender to tyranny, <laughs> dictatorship, what we experience this moment. But that will come to an end. Yeah, Even that's though right. there's a darkness, the light shines through. We will prevail. That's right. Now, now Jeff, I'm going to go ahead and run this final portion of based Amy's show that she did just after she got back from uh, her experience popping that um, silly uh, lefty troll Trump baby balloon in in London. And uh, here we go, guys. This is going to be about nine and a half minutes. You're listening to the English Defense League radio show. I haven't, I'm a bit worried about checking my fingers. I, I wouldn't let them do it these days. I'm a bit worried because it was, I, it wasn't a bit of a cut. I didn't realize it was, I didn't know it was so tough. It was quite thick. Mm. So, anyway, worth it. And whatever happens, I don't know what's going to happen. Who knows with uh, the law in this land, but I'm now on bail and uh, pending investigation. But, you know, if it gets to that point where I have to do some time, well, it's worth it to get rid of that monstrosity, that insult, that uh, shameful piece of rubber. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's worth it. And I'll do it. I'll do it again. 
So, God bless President Trump. I'm hoping the weather improves for tomorrow, because, you know, tomorrow's the big D-Day with the big in Portsmouth, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there, but I hope the weather clears up. Anyway, that's it. President Trump, God bless President Trump and Melania, the stunning first lady, and your wonderful first family, and all the you should be being fated in this country and in America. You are, but, you know, the silent majority are, are doing it. It's just a shame. I just wish you could do something, President Trump could do something about the media. Anyway, sorry, I'm going to go now. Oh, please join me. I'm going to go on Periscope now, so, so, um, doing this OBS thing. Uh, sorry. Doing the OBS. <laughs> I said I was a bit wet, and I had to force myself to ask for a second because I was a bit cold in a jail cell. So I've got this, uh, jail yak. One. I've got to treat my hand, and then I'll go on to Periscope. I'm going to finish this off. I'm hoping somebody hears me, because obviously I can't see anything. I can't see, actually, if, if there's any chat. I don't know if you can tell if I'm live, but hoping I am. And uh, fight the good fight. Freedom is worth it. Democracy is worth it. And uh, I don't have to see that bloody balloon anymore. Not for Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so... <laughs> You know, if you, if you like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't, I have, you know, 3,400 subscribers. I'm not monetized on YouTube because I don't, uh, YouTube doesn't approve of my material. I don't think, I don't have the, uh, I'm one of the band. I'm one of the, mm, you know, people who are unacceptable to YouTube. So they refuse to monetize me. So it's not actually for the money that I'm asking people to subscribe to me. It's just to get the word out because obviously the fake free media doesn't do it. So I try to get out what is happening as best I can in the, the, with what I can do. So if you guys could subscribe to my channel, um, follow me on Twitter, the real based Amy. Check out my website, which is basedamy.com. And if you know you want to support me a little bit because I might be needing a bit of support because <laughs> of that. Balloon. Um, I really appreciate it. And by the way, by the way, by the way, okay, let me just quickly tell you, uh, if, if, if I'm working, um, what happened? Obviously, it's, it was live streamed. I live streamed what happened, so, you know, if I did it, which I'm not admitting to, if I was arrested quite viciously, yes, well, I don't know why, what is it with the men? What is it with the men? men guys, ease up, you know, assess the situation. Look at your person, the perpetrator. You don't have to be rough, you know, really. You don't have to be rough with me or anybody like me. It's, anyway, arrested, handcuffed, oh, badly, waiting, and uh, it was all very serious. And then, as they, they searched me, searched, took everything, searched, searched, searched. Da, 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 da. Wait, 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 the next thing I know, I was de-arrested. Didn't want to press charges. De-arrested. Huh? Happy days, took the cuffs off. And, uh, just filling the form because they'd searched my stuff. Just as he was finishing it off, the chief inspector came along and, uh, did he like the balloon? <laughs> I don't know. The next thing I know, I got rearrested. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I I always thought that if 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 a person is accused of doing something, damage to somebody's property, to say, but that person chooses not to press charges or you know, then well, that should be it. I didn't know there was another sort of if the police feel so inclined, they'll do it. So, there you go. So I was rearrested. Criminal damage. I think it's 5,000 pounds to the value apparently of over 5,000 pounds. <sighs> I should ask for that money back because it really wasn't worth it. Was 5, pounds. Anyway, so yeah, went through the humiliation of, you know, I'll tell you what, if I ever got into power, I would rewrite those rules of how, you know, now it doesn't matter if a male it, it be, puts his hands all over a woman. A male was searching me. What's that about? When did that change? 
And then I was getting searched in the, you know, before when they arrested me, and then, you know, with the hands. I mean, my God. With men standing around. I mean, where's the dignity? Where's the civil, where's the rights? Where are those civil rights people, people? Where do they all go? Oh, by the way, listen, I don't have my phone. They kept my phone. They've kept my MAGA hat. I'm very upset about that. You know, that's the real deal. That is genuine article from America. Mm -hmm. My MAGA hat with all my badges. There was some, there was just, just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to get my phone back because I was going, hmm? So, where we are now, I'm home. Thank God. I've just got to nurse my fingers. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a bit afraid to open this to get it. I'll, I'll do that. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go into Periscope uh, in a minute. Based Amy on Periscope app, and uh, I will open the you know the chat thing. So I will have a chat with whoever wants to call in. And by the way, apologies, Baska. Uh, I couldn't make it when I said so. Apologies and thank you, Neil for, I've heard you uh, came to the airways for me uh, to let people know, so thank you very much for, and thanks everybody for support, and I did see a funny, um, a funny clip, what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll get ready tomorrow, I'll do, I'll do a show better, a little bit, you know, jaded from the few hours in the jail, so I'm not very comfortable, you know, so am I, yeah worth it. So, I'm going to sign off, go into Periscope, say please subscribe to my channel, Gay Big Lead, and um, follow me, and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing for as long as I can, as long as I'm free, we'll do it. So, keep up the good fight, and God bless Donald Trump. I'm hoping tomorrow is fabulous, and thank you for everything he does, and thanks to everybody. I'm just going to sign off, and I'm going to say thank you for joining me. Hope everybody's had a great day, and uh, I'm glad they all got soaking wet. The rain fell down, fell down on their blooming stupid, you know what, so that was justice. Thank you, Mother Nature, for chucking it down today and spoiling their rotten stuff. They all got soaked. And I think that was um, poetic justice, really. Until next time, I will be back on tomorrow, hopefully, tomorrow evening on, at 8 o'clock. Unless I go to Port, unless I make it to Portsmouth. If I get to Portsmouth to see the D-Day. I'm, I'm going to try and get to Portsmouth, actually. It's the 75th anniversary, which is major, major, major. My father's retired Navy, American Navy, from, he went to Annapolis. So, and our uncles were Navy, cousins, Coast Guard in America, so, you know, it's in the family, it's in the blood. So I want to say thank you to everybody, and um, I'll probably be there tomorrow. But join me in about 15 minutes on Periscope, so thank you. God bless, and base Amy out. And there you go, guys. Wow. <laughs> what, what a lady. What a lady. Uh, oh, do you know, mm -hmm. if I was to speak to Amy, I'd say, for goodness sake, start getting your memoirs or start writing a book, Amy. It's going to be a, it's going to be a bestseller. Get it right. You know, that's what I would say. If she's, she might be even listening to the show. You don't know. Uh, but she is. I'd say, get someone to sit down with you and start putting things together of a future reference, because I think she'd, she'd have a great book there. Mm -hmm, Especially with mm -hmm. what she's all, she's had to endure with certain operations, and she's gone through hell, Dave. But she's still there, she's still smiling. She still has a good laugh, that's, uh, that's Amy. A spe very special lady, Dave, you know? Uh, yeah, and uh, Jeff, I just want to say, you know, to the, uh, uh, to the lefties out there, um, you know, who are saying, oh, it's a terrible thing she did. And, they, you know, it, you know, it's terrible. These are some of the same people, Jeff, uh, who said when um, when Tommy Robinson and Nigel Farage, who we're not that big a fan of, but still, um, and other people got 
um, you know, got milkshakes thrown on them. These are some of the same people that said, hey, man, it's just a milkshake. So uh, to you lefties out there who are moaning about what Bay Stamey did, let me just say to you, hey, man, it's only a balloon. And besides which, uh, it was <laughs> it was financed by a bunch of rich lefties anyway. They're part of the 1%. You know, um, whine to them and they, they'll probably make more. Who knows? Okay, but yeah, so who y'all? Who y'all, David? <laughs> and we are the one percent, <laughs> yeah. and they burst our bubble. Yes, they, they burst our bubble. Disgraceful! Disgraceful! Yeah. Exactly. Pop, pop with, pop oh, with the weasels, and they good on you, Amy. Snowflakes. Yeah, good on you, Amy, and yeah, pop with you, those Amy. weasels. And that is it for this time. Next time, part three. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for listening, and may your God go with you. Goodbye. The Unpleasant Blind Guy is copyright 2019. Anno Domini. Now for Dave's Canes. Extras that help you Navigate the new media world. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network. Hey, this is Michael Wright. And I'm Shannon Wright. Join us for The Right Way with Shannon and Mike, Monday through Thursday from 7 to 9 a.m. right here on SHR Media. Why are they joining us? For fun things like sports, politics, Oh, maybe some news and entertainment? And all kinds of other things. Money and recipes and events, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so join us Monday through Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. here on shrmedia.com. From a public locker inside a dilapidated Long Island rail station comes a show designed to piss off liberals using truth, facts, and ridicule. The Lid Radio Show, featuring the conservative voice from the People's Republic of New York, the Lid himself, Jeff Dunnitz. Tune in every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific on the SHR Media Network. Go to shrmedia.com. At Lid Radio, we fight for the truth, justice, and a good kosher T-bone. If you don't listen, Hillary Clinton might sneak into your bedroom in her house coat late at night and blame you for her election loss. It's the Lid Radio Show with Jeff Dunnett. It's your business diva here, Melanie Collette. I am inviting you to a front row seat as I discuss some of the most intriguing details of wealth and finance with today's movers and shakers in the world of business. Listen in and discover financial truths on a global, domestic, and household scale. Uncover topics that will impact your wallet today and in the future. Money Talk with Melanie airs Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. East, 2 p.m. West, right here on SHR Media and High Plains Pundit Talk Radio. You can't afford to miss it. The new show on the SHR Media Network, Sackheads Against Tyranny. On shrmedia.com, go there quick like a bunny, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, every Wednesday, live and direct on the SHR Media Network, shrmedia.com. Be there. Broadcasting behind enemy lines in occupied California, a mere two miles from the state capital, the bloviating Zeppelin's Berserk Bobcat Saloon Radio Show can be heard every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. Pacific and 11 p.m. Eastern, only on the SHR Media Network. Go to shrmedia.com to listen. You can also watch on the SHR Media Facebook page and the SHR Media YouTube channel. No goldfish were abused in the making of this ad. Hey girls, Carry Girl Gear is here. More and more women every day are concealed carrying, participating in competitive shooting, and getting firearms training. 
it's not a boys club anymore and we don't have to shop in their stores anymore either. Finally, a cool and unique clothing line just for women. Dope tees and hats for the patriotic conceal carry and 2A girl. So what are you waiting for? Go check out carrygirlgear.com today. Conservative media done right. You're listening to the SHR Media Network.